literally hundreds of thousands of people in this country are dying. Thousand people a day are dying from the worst disease we've seen in a hundred years. And people still are going to festivals and concerts because they cannot stay indoors and sit and watch TV all the time. But I did actually want to talk about something that we haven't talked about on this show yet today. Um, I know that we, we have given a lot of productivity hacks and stuff like that in the past, and that is valuable information. But I would love to switch topics to kind of the state of the new music industry that we're in today and kind of how the current atmosphere and climate in the music industry is changing and how producers can best basically shift their approach to maximize on that as well as what our thoughts on the implications for the future of the music industry is with like all these digital events and stuff like that you know Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess the first thing that I would love to talk about is kind of the controversial question that came into my mind as this whole thing started happening Um, we'll start with problems and then we can get to solutions (laughs) Usually the order of operations. Yeah, yeah. So naturally, as live events are not able to happen at all, all these professional artists looking for an avenue to play and get exposure for their music and connect with their fans are willing to play absolutely for free or um, barely any money on a virtual event playing the same set that they would play live. Um, Obviously it's not the same experience that you would get live, but it's the same music and, you know, mimics the live event in some ways. Um, Are you guys at all worried that that devalues the full live show being, especially that live shows are kind of the only way a touring musician makes money nowadays like at all kind of um i don't think it devalues it man i think it's just a different form of ingesting that content if we're gonna put it in like just blank business terms and we're talking about just promotion it's just another way of ingesting that content that isn't as potent or exciting i'd say i guess one of the things that i was worried about uh, in a more fragile state of mind is that people I'm worried that the natural inclination of most people being lazy after receiving that content on their couch would be more inclined to, to, to just continue inputting that content on their couch, smoking dabs rather than going through the trouble of driving five hours setting up camp, walking back and forth, getting harassed by security, blah, blah, blah. All of the things that are so fucking worth it to actually get that live event. But I have reservations about the normal average person in in America who trends towards laziness, being more okay with just smoking dabs on their couch, watching a virtual music festival for free rather than paying for a ticket to a festival i mean i think that's all cool and everything even if you're catering to those people but like go all in like try to if make it like a dabbed out event like make the like little header around your stream not the header the the border around your stream make it like the dabby like wax and like go full in on that theme and try to incorporate like some sort of discussion about something it could be weed related maybe like do a giveaway if that's some, if it's like in your state and it's legal there and you can't or something i'm just throwing out ideas but like there needs to be a bit like deeper thinking into why is this being done because it's an outlet for you to get something cooler across it's not like i'm gonna do a live stream just for the sake of doing a live stream because i feel like i should yeah. It's like, can we make some sort of experience and start from the experience and then work into the live stream? Yeah. And I think that the issue, like the, the, 
like I said, the, the fragile state of mind thought that I had when I was like, oh, fuck, is this going to be terrible for musicians? Is that you can't make there's there's no money to be made from a stream where you're giving away all your content for free. Not true, though, because people will that's donate. That's what I was, I was going to follow up with the but that is like the very single minded way to think about it. Like you can reach unlimited amounts of people on the Internet that could potentially be fans of you that would never drive 14 hours to go see you at the closest music festival to them. There's tons of people that might love you. They would never have monetarily the resources to spend a thousand dollars on a festival weekend, but would love to spend $60 on a sweatshirt with your name on it. Or if it's the dab event, dude, someone, you, you, you probably get one out of 10 people that are diehard fans of you that are at the dab event to buy a fucking bong with your logo on it. You know, like yeah. there, there is some sort of opportunity in there that like if you're if you're just worried about the fact that shit's changing, you're going to miss completely. Right. You know, fattest dab rip, con- dab rip contest or whatever. Be like, yo, yeah, tweet yeah, me yeah. your fattest dab while you're watching this stream. Just create yeah. something. Yeah, exactly. There's opportunity that the, the, the scared, fragile mind wants to feel like it's just not going to happen. But like as things change, there's always opportunity that comes along with it. Yo, though, uh, one thing I did want to say earlier to swing back to that conversation about, you know, will streams incentivize people to never get off their couch? No, man. Literally hundreds of thousands of people in this country are dying. Thousand people a day are dying from the worst disease we've seen in a hundred years. And people still are going to festivals and concerts because they cannot stay indoors and sit and watch TV all the time. I am not worried at all. When they actually open it up and have festivals again, I bet attendance is going to be up from ever. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Even though the, the economy will be in the worst shambles it's been in since 1930. Like, people are still going to find a way to fucking get the money to go to a weekend festival. Like, it's still going to happen. Everyone realizes how much they took it for granted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, especially. Yeah. I like it. What's up, humans? It's Luke, your friendly neighborhood trap Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channels. And if you have any questions or topics that we need to cover on the show, put them in the comments. Appreciate you. Peace and peace among worlds.